You're good to go, Chef. Hey, what's happening? First yeah. Logan, I'm down here at Catalina Offshore Products. I'm here with my friend Wilbur. Wilbur is a uh, white link cod. Look at this bad boy here. I'm going to try and open up his uh, choppers for you. Okay, this guy can open up wide. Uh, this is a white link cod. And the reason for this, and I just saw this. This is actually the first time I've ever been cooking link cod of this variety, West Coast. It's one of the reasons why I come down here. I get to play with stuff that's local that I didn't grow up with. As you can tell, I'm from uh, Ireland. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, white. There's blue, there's green, and there's white. The belly of this is white. If we go back into back there where you need hats and closed toed shoes and all that, there are blue and green. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to cook up some green for you. Hold on, don't go away. Take a peek at this. This is Dr. Sue stuff. This is a uh, green lingcod. Look at, look at the flesh on that. I mean, it's kind of unbelievable. If you can't see it, it is. It's green. It's like uh, an emerald green. What I'm going to do with this, again, uh, my second time cooking, because I just cooked some about five minutes ago. Hot pan, neutral oil, the green lingcod. There's a pin bone that runs pretty much all the way down to the belly. You want to make sure you take that out. I'm leaving the skin on. It's one of those things that, uh, why not eat it? It's there, you paid for it. Uh, some people are adverse to that because they think skin has uh, allergens or whatever. Hey, get over yourself, okay? Okay, hot pan. I'm gonna season this as it's going. Again, you can see the skin on there. Uh, it's very mild in flavor. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a more aggressive pepper, togarashi, on this. Hawaiian sea salt, my preference. You guys use whatever you want. Uh, kosher salt, any other kind of uh, sea salt works really well. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Uh, because it's summertime and I still have these uh, beautiful heirloom carrots, this is gonna be my garnish. So they're gonna go in the bottom. I'm just gonna pan roast these a little bit and add oil. The fat content on this is, uh, it's pretty good. As we turn it, see the caramelization. The carrots are roasting, they smell pretty good. We mix in some of that togarashi on that, give it a little flavor. The uh, flavor profile that I'm going to do with this, again, it's very mild. I'm going to use capers, I'm going to use some scallion, some garlic, some basil, and then the infamous, world famous, soon to be coming to a store near you, lemon vinaigrette. Cod is one of these things that uh, on the East Coast, a lot of people use them for uh, fish and chips. Uh, the reason for that is because, again, it's very mild. The flesh is uh, white. Put in any kind of beer batter you want. Fries up really nicely. Pin bones. You can see some of these right here. You want to make sure that uh, you're not eating those as they're uh, coming out. This is ready. It's gonna go down on the plate like so. Hey, like that camera work, huh? Yeah. That, guy, that guy is unbelievable. We're gonna put the cod on top. The other garnish on there is just uh, red onions been marinated. A little rice vinegar. Now I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to put capers in here, some shaved garlic, fresh basil, green onions. Yeah, no need to shave today. Not shaving today. Life is good. The last thing is lemon vinaigrette. Again, more fire. Why not? All these great flavors are going to help this cod. Quick, easy breezy, Dr. Seuss kind of stuff. Green eggs and ham, only we got the cod instead. So, green cod, togarashi, Hawaiian sea salt, pan seared, hot pan, shaved garlic, capers, green onions, basil. Lemon, vinaigrette. Voila. Have a great day. Thank you.